пипец, короче, дела. Вот такие у нас, пацаны. Все очень печально. Очень и очень. Вот такие прилетики. Небольшие, бля. Вон пушка валяется. От БТР. Вон там еще запчасти. Охренеть. Где пушка? Вот она. Оторвало нахер. Вот все, что осталось. Парни погибли. Вот такие вот дела. Сука, это все Баба Яга. Твои чудеса. Сучка драная. Вот так вот. Блин. Куски одежды чьи-то. Вот так вот. Все очень печально. Все разбросано на несколько метров, километров. Охренеть. Вот движок. Ну, короче, весело, весело. Что говорить то блин? Пиздос. Все нахуй, запчасти валяются. Вот так вот так вот. Вот еще такие моменты. Морковочка сплющенная, бля. Это все последствия. Вот Донкрат стоит. Так бы да. Очень-очень все печально. Тут у нас. Вот шлем, пожалуйста. Чей-то. Каска. Чья-то каска. Обгоревшая. Там он какие-то вещи еще лежат. Короче, вот так вот, парни. Все серьезно. Очень-очень. Всем пока. Всем привет. Russian Army restores old military equipment due to shortage at front. Russian Army restores old military equipment due to a shortage of vehicles at the front, according to Atesh Partisan Movement. Atesh agents conducted a reconnaissance of a warehouse of non-working equipment of one of the military units in the Gagarin district of Sevastopol. As it turned out, the Russian soldiers restored equipment from this warehouse for military needs. This demonstrates that the enemy has significant problems with military equipment, which once again confirms the information from our agents from the Russian armed forces. The partisan said, Atesh agents also spotted a Russian radar system located near a military unit in Sevastopol. Having launched a full-scale war against Ukraine, Russia has been unable to abandon the use of Soviet-era military equipment despite boasting in previous years about the production and supply of modern equipment to their troops. This new equipment includes the T-72B3M, T-80BVM and T-90M main battle tanks, BTR-82A armored personnel carriers, BMP-2M infantry fighting vehicles, BMPT terminator fire support vehicles, along with various others. The massive losses of Russia's newest military equipment in the first months of the invasion has led to Russia being forced to reactivate and refurbish older models for deployment in order to plug capability gaps incurred through losses. Since the start of the war, Russia has removed approximately over 40% of its Soviet-era tanks and armored personnel carriers from the largest mothballed equipment base in Buratia. This certainly represents a significant figure, but Russia has another 20 smaller, similar storage bases which can also be used to reconstitute units destroyed in combat. As high-intensity military operations continued, the share of modern military equipment in Russian stocks has fallen, leading to greater reliance on older Soviet-era equipment in many units. Crimea may turn militarily worthless for Russia after U.S. aid to Ukraine. Long-range ATA CMS provided by the U.S. to Ukraine have the potential to make Crimea militarily worthless to Russia. Business Insider writes about this with reference to military analyst Philip Kaba. 
Last week, the New York Times reported that the US had secretly shipped about 100 Army tactical missile systems, known as ATA CMS, to Ukraine, which has reportedly already put them to use. The US has previously sent ATA CMS with a shorter range, which puts higher value targets in Ukraine's crosshairs. This includes Crimea, occupied by Russia in 2014 and crucial to its military strategy in Ukraine. Philip Kaba, a military analyst with expertise on Ukraine, told Radio Free Europe that the delivery of ATA CMS is a big breakthrough. He said the weapons could basically make Crimea militarily worthless. Crimea has been heavily fortified since President Vladimir Putin's forces occupied it and it serves his military by both land and sea. It's home to the advanced port of Sevastopol, the headquarters of Russia's Black Sea Fleet. It also serves as a crucial logistics hub and military supply route to occupied southern Ukraine and has been the launch pad for a series of devastating Russian missile and drone attacks. The media notes that Ukraine has previously launched many attacks on Crimea, significantly weakening the Russian Black Sea Fleet, the port of Sevastopol, and periodically striking the strategic Kirsch Bridge, which connects the peninsula with Russia. They were carried out by a variety of weapons, including air and sea drones and likely storm shadow, scalp, missiles supplied by the UK and France. But ATA CMS has a key advantage over storm shadows in that they fly much faster, the material says. 